Okay guys, let's go ahead and continue our uh, motion design here. Now what I'm going to do in this lesson is uh, to animate the amount of strength that our turbulence has. And then I hook up the uh, mix strength here of this material to the uh, strength of our turbulence. So as our turbulence kind of moves this uh, uh, material, move these elements here, uh, as they go faster, this uh, material kind of becomes so light, and as they uh, settle down, it kind of turns off. So that's the idea here. Let's go ahead and quickly uh, do that. So just uh, I'm gonna use this null for the uh, espresso. Right click Cinema 4D tag espresso. Now here we are in espresso. I need two things. I'm gonna I need my turbulence, and in turbulence I need a strength. Now the strength is real number, so uh, take that into consideration. And we need this material, and from this material we need the uh, luminance, the mixed strength. Now the mixed strength is a uh, percentage, so we kind of need to uh, use range mapper to hook them together. So let's uh, go ahead and add a uh, uh, range mapper. It should be here, I think. There we go. Now the range mapper, let's go ahead. The input range is user defined, the data type is, is real, and the output range is percent. Let's come down here. I think the strength of uh, turbulence will be uh, something input lower is 0, output input upper is 15, and output lower for our percentage is 0, and uh, output upper is, you know, 100%, or we can go less than that, 80%. Now we just uh, simply uh, go ahead, control double click, so they sort of nicer, and just hook them up, there we go. Now, as we change the strength on the turbulence, you can see if I change the amount of strength here to zero, it gets zero. If I change it to 15, it went, uh, you know, uh, it increases to 80%. Because if you remember, we, uh, in our range mapper, we said the output upper is 80% instead of 100%. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and quickly animate our turbulence here. I'm just going by uh, zero. Uh, control click on that maybe for something like 30 or 50 frames it stays uh, I think we changed it to zero so let's go ahead and make it zero again that's great and let's see yeah it should be zero at the beginning so let's go to zero let me focus on this part for the moment now in maybe about five, four frames, I want it to really get up to speed, maybe to 10 centimeters. And I want it to stay like that for maybe, uh, let's go to 110. Again, five frames, maybe back to maybe zero and stays there for a while. And Again, control click on that in five frames. Again, it speeds up. Let's go to 15 centimeter this time. Now it's gonna be very quick. Control drag a few frames. Zero. Now you just uh, need to really continue doing it until it gets to where it should be. Now let's control drag. Control click, sorry. Let's go ahead and make it maybe eight centimeters and um, let's go to now we can simply copy these keys and continue or we can work on them and now this stays eight centimeter change to zero you know, let's change this guy to something like 300 frames for the moment, so. And... Z 
zero control drag and now you can work on the pattern the way you want it doesn't have to be this regular okay let's now as we go through and if you open the materials and if I hit play you can see this amount here is changing based on the amount of turbulence that we have which is very nice and uh, that's definitely not too bad and if we kind of render this we should be able to see let me actually save this thing really quickly for you so save as 0305 now if we kind of quickly render the thing we should be able to see that turning off and up let's just uh, quickly set up a really quick render maybe to something like uh, 450 I'm just going to the ambient occlusion and possibly turn it off so we have a really quick render and see what's going on so I'm just going to really quickly render uh, this thing and see uh, what we uh, get from this sort of uh, uh, expressive setup and when the render is done I'll be uh, back and we'll see uh, what we uh, have here okay guys so I rendered uh, a few uh, sort of uh, frames I think that's gonna be enough for us if you take a look at this render when they start to move you can see at this moment it brights up okay I think that's that's not too bad okay so uh, this is basically done for this dynamic part of, uh, and dynamic simulation in our next section I start working on our lighting it's gonna be very simple but uh, we need to kind of set up a, a you know our global illumination and basic lighting so we get a better and nicer render uh, and after that we're gonna be setting up our uh, last part of our dynamic simulation the bags and the spheres that uh, fills that bag and uh, you know uh, so in this lesson we basically uh, hooked up the turbulence and the strength of turbulence and the uh, brightness of our uh, luminance channel together uh, and uh, in the next lesson we are going to be working on in the next section we are going to be actually start working on our lighting so see you there